So I saw a quick question in the forums the other day that asked how to create a landing page or a squeeze page similar to the traffic geyser one. Now, um, this kind of look, I mean, it looks pretty good. So I thought I would just make a quick video and show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So first of all, when I look at this thing, I need to identify some the basic structure of it. You can tell they've got full width um, backgrounds and then they've got a non-flexible centered piece in here. So he's got one, two, three, four full widths <clears throat> with the same amount of centered. So I'm going to go create my landing page. I'm going to call it TG Private Geyser Landing Page. I'm going to upload a couple of background images. These are just the background images for like this top part is an image, this part is an image, and then this bottom part here is an image. So I need one, two, three background images. Okay, so I uploaded my three background images. Then I'm going to get these links and just paste them over here so I remember them later. Oh, oops, stop. I'm also going to pick my landing page theme, save it. So now I got this blank landing page. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to panel content and I'm going to start creating my, my layout here. I'm going to remove what was already here before. Okay, I'm going to, now remember I need four sections. I need a 100% section, a small section, for each of the four sections. So I'm going to go through this. Okay, I did it. So basically what I did is I created a container for my header. Okay, my container is going to be this big part. Okay, then inside that container I've got a smaller container to hold my header stuff. Okay, so I did that for all these four sections. Big container with smaller container. Except for the bottom section with the footer because I'm just going to have centered links and text in it just like they did right here. I don't need a container to center that. So... You can see I got my outer container, and then I got my regions inside of this, okay? So I'm going to save that, and I can just start adding content. I'm going to add a logo. I'm going to call this logo. I'm going to call it, give it a class of logo just in case I need to add some padding above and below it. Okay, I'm going to add a video. Now, I previously uploaded a video, so it wouldn't take so long to stick this in here, but... Uploading my video. Um, I gotta have some stuff over here on the right. <clears throat> This is probably going to be called custom content or something. No, I'm going to call this um, bullets. And header. Or heading. Bullets and heading. So I'm going to type out this is bullet number one. It's great. Number two, number three. 
We need a heading above this. I'm going to make it kind of a bluish color like what I have on Traffic Geyser. I'm going to make this bigger. Real big. We'll call it like a 28. That's probably too big. Make this like a 20. These were also bullets, so I can put bullets in front of it. I could use the exact same bullets that they used here. It's kind of copyright issue, so don't do this at home. Okay, I'm going to take this guy up, I center the heading. And I'm going to call that good for now. Okay, now I also need some content down here at the bottom. He has a heading and he has a picture. Other grade heading. Pump that font size. Make that the bluey color. I'm gonna center it. So I'm gonna add an image. Also be centered. <coughs> okay. Save that. Save it. Oh, I should probably also add some <coughs> footer links. So I can add a bunch of links down here. I could I could turn them into links if I wanted to. Whatever. Oh, I probably add some spacing above it. Save that. Then let's have a quick view of this thing. So I got my logo, I got my headline over here with some bullets. I've got this little thing down here and then some links down at the bottom. So what I need to do now is add some, some style to this upper part and then center this stuff. And oh, I forgot my form down here, but that's just like adding any other piece of content. So. I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to copy their stuff. You probably shouldn't do this. I'm going to start creating a CSS file. I'm going to call this heading, or header. Header, and I'm gonna put my header background image in there. Okay. Footer. 
is going to be Top content. Also going to need some CSS. Okay, I'm also going to need to make all these 100% wide. Try that for now. I'm going to go add the, my CSS styles to, I'm going to call this, uh, what do I call this? Header, header class. I called this one top content, top content. this one oh I don't even need one for that one this one's gonna be footer save that then I'm going to add another piece of content up here this is gonna be called CSS Okay, I'm going to throw in my little CSS that I made. Not very complicated CSS, pretty simple. Throw that in there. Save that. Let's have a look at it again. Now you can see I got this up here. I got this down here. I got my links down here. I need to change those colors. My heading right there, I need to center all that stuff. And my column, I need to go center column save. And there you go. We got something very close to the same. If I open this up in a new browser to where I'm not logged in. You can see it's very close. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can do a couple little tweaks. You can add some padding here, here, and here. And I mean, that would take you another five minutes to add a little a couple tweaks, change the font color, stuff like that. But basically, you've got a fully functional, I, pretty close to the same landing page as what they've got. So, uh, thanks for watching.